trust. Because next, what? we have who? Oh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all, thank you so much for joining us here tonight. Uh, we are Knievel. Um, we are going to come to you because we need some help tonight to start our set. We need an audience volunteer. We just need somebody in the audience to raise their hand and volunteer to join us up on stage. I see a hand uh, raise over here. Yeah. And what is your name? Megan. Megan. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for joining us. Megan, do you have a last name, Megan? Cook. Oh, oh, yeah. Great. Megan Cook, thank you for joining us here on stage tonight. Um, what, uh, let me uh, just be sorry. I just want to ask you a few questions and, and learn a little bit about you and then want to share with the audience. The audience gets a little bit about you. Uh, Megan, when you're not coming to Dead Crow and Crop Show on Wednesday nights at 8 p.m., what do you do? I come to Dead Crow on Thursday nights for stand up comedy. Nice! Oh. Uh, finest open mic in the city. Actually, there's one in a dumpster behind my house that's better. Okay, you're the second best open mic in the city. Great. And then. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a stand up comedian? Yes, but it doesn't pay well, so I also work at a board game store. You work at a board yeah. game store? Yeah. Um, great. And then can we say, can we plug the name of the. It's Keep Your Game. Yeah. Yeah. Um, speaking of which, I think you enjoy board games. I don't know if that's a true assumption. Great, you enjoy board games. Yes. Do you have a favorite board game you like to play? It's right called now? Everdell. Everdell. It's about <laughs> wooden creatures instead of money. They trade berries and sticks, and <laughs> it's very yeah. Cute. You know Everdell. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Everyone knows Everdell. about Everdell. Everdell. Great. Great. So Everdell. Great. Um, cool. Um, and then you, you play like wood, little woodland creature. Like yeah, you're like you can awesome. choose like a squirrel or a okay. hedgehog. Or a turtle or a mouse. Yeah. Super cute. Uh, where are you from originally? Are you from Wilmington? No, I'm from Maryland. Maryland. Wow. Maryland. Wow. Uh, great. And then where in Maryland are you from? Uh, Chevy Chase? Okay, sorry. Annapolis. Annapolis? Annapolis. Great. Great. Thank you for joining us here tonight. Um, the Naval Academy. My dad worked there for 15 years. Oh, he worked? Was he in the Navy or? He, he was in the Navy and then he became an advanced calculus professor. Ooh. 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 Did you have a very mathematical upbringing? Um, so uh, I was okay with basic math, and then I hit middle school, and then my dad would home tutor me, and it would just be him. It was like explaining, someone explaining gravitation to an ant. <laughs> like a person talking to an ant. Like just the depth What's of wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I see. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's very complicated. So then, it's just yeah. like, you know, I just get pheromones, right. and you're all like, no, listen. <laughs> So a force pushing down everything. Okay, great. Yeah. So my dad, an advanced calculus professor, would sit down to teach me basic algebra, and the bridge of knowledge was so vast that I, it, I would always cry. Um, <laughs> and then we get my mom in there, who was closer to me, and that we were both dumb at math, so okay. it helped me out better. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Uh, um, uh, you enjoyed living here in Wilmington? Yeah. Yes. Okay, great. Uh, what's one of your favorite things to do here in Wilmington? Rock climbing. <laughs> I didn't realize there were a lot of rocks in Wilmington. It's small. Yeah, very small. Okay, great. All right. Um, great. No, is there a gym that you go to? That, what's <laughs> uh, that's a board game. Yes. <laughs> Uh, okay, so you like to enjoy rock climbing. You know, uh, do you are you harnessed in, and are you the belay and stuff? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so um, Jessalyn is my roommate, and we learned how to belay each other. Sorry, Jessalyn. Yes. Jessalyn. 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 
Great, so you guys climb together at the we, gym? It's the ultimate trust fall because we have to literally hold each other up 20 feet in the air. Well, so, when do you fall? <laughs> uh, very rarely. Okay, great. Good job. Okay, great. Uh, do we have any other questions for Megan? Uh, can you tell us about a time, uh, like somewhere around college, that you kind of remember but you don't really remember? Is that fun? Uh, I was super sleep deprived from ages 18 to 20 because I was in, going to college classes all the time. I had two jobs and I fell asleep standing up long. So I would wake up to someone handing me their uh, movie theater ticket when I was working at the movie theater in the mall. And I would wake up and go, how can I help you? And they would go, you can tear my ticket so I can see Transformers 4. And I'm like, you got it. And then I go right back to sleep. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> we all learn more and more with Transformers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, great. And then where did you go to college? Uh, Anne Arundel Community College, so that I can afford to go to UNC Wilmington. You are great. Any other questions for Randy? Nice down. It's 20% uh, off, but Ooh. when I get m and it's 30% off. <laughs> Is it it's a board game? Is that a board game you play? Anything can be a board game if you are bored enough. <laughs> awesome. Thank you for making it fun. Thank you, Megan. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we'd love to improvise some scenes for you based on uh, the life of Megan. <laughs> Yeah, that's what you need to do. 
And uh, this hurts my nuts. <laughs> so, Stu, you're doing it right. Mm, yeah. I have abnormally large nuts. <laughs> Is that going to be a problem with rock climbing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess she's really on the leg. Oh, boy, looks like a boy.
It's not that hard. <laughs> I'm talking to you. God damn it. Sorry, I didn't mean that wrong. Simon, I'm, I'm going to teach this fucking ant how to drive a car. <laughs> Oh my god, I've been at this for six months. We learned pedals two weeks ago. Right me. Right it. Right. Don't make me step on you. <laughs> now get into this Camaro and drive it down the driveway. <laughs> you have six seconds and go. <laughs> No, we're never going to be ready for <laughs> What? <laughs> See, this is great and all, but they're not, the pan is not pushing the pedal, so the car is just moving the tire and moving back and forth. <laughs> Yeah. 
much. <laughs> I don't know, how big are you balls? I, uh, uh, let's just say when I go rock climbing, I need to get I got him a card, it's that. Cards? <laughs> oh, strip poker! No, no. Genius! Oh, I'm out of here, fucking genius! More like, more like these animals have big nuts and hearts and, you know, the queen of hearts. Just, are you making fun of my son's testicles? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming over, Cindy. My dad got this new card game. Cool. <laughs> Let me read the rules real quick. Rule number one, we both have to take off our pants. <laughs> <laughs> uh, underwear two. Your <laughs> game, I don't understand. There's no dice or anything. Uh, all right, if you play any card, we have to kiss. All right, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, more with tongues. <laughs> hey, 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 I want to welcome you all to the Dumpster Fire Comedy Club! We don't got nobody. Oh, we got folks and, uh, oh. Yeah. oh, come on, man! What, what's your I problem? had a deal on a pizza crust, and I left it behind to watch this shitty excuse for a show. <laughs> I don't know how to handle it. It's just, just a dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bed. Right. All right. Some kind of gathering or something out there. Okay, I, I want to call the cops. Okay, but my name's not Elise. Well, my name's Elise, so I'm going to take notes. Yeah. So 1052, yeah. gathering. They're out there. Uh -huh. And I'm an actual police officer, so I'm just going to watch. <laughs> This calls for a celebration, okay? I have a little Asti Spumanti that I've been hanging on to for a special occasion. Great. Wow. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Toast. Toast. Yeah, toast to me. Wow. Whoa. Let me get these uh, champagne flutes. Oh, yeah. Tink, tink. Thank you, my dad. We're trying to have a celebration up here. Go away. Hold on. I got this one. One just one second. Whoop whoop! I am a policeman! <laughs> Show your badge! Show them your badge! Yeah, did you get a badge? No, let's get this paperwork for now. Show your badge! My badge is coming next week, they're sending it in the mail! Be scared! Our roommate's a police officer now! I just graduated, I'm like the business. Well, is that like a police officer elect then? If you haven't really gotten your badge yet, you're just kind of not in office yet, and you're kind of ready to be? Well, technically, it's like a learner's permit. Oh, we'll see so you have your mom with you. Okay. <laughs> not really. I mean, it's just, it's just like, it's, they're not called moms at the police precinct, I don't think. Yeah, supervisor. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, sir. I think it's probably like a lieutenant or an admiral or something like that. Basically. Guys, come on. I worked really hard. And the police cabin was nothing like the movies. <laughs> and now I'm like, I'm, you know, like, I, I, I know it's just a paper badge, and, and those guys are flipping me off. I can see it. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. No one's pulling his, his penis out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, the whole reason I joined the police academy was to get respect and finally be authoritative. Ooh. You know? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, you know? This is all about attitude. Now. Yeah, it's yeah. all about, yeah. It's like, not about a piece of paper or even a little piece of brass on your chest. It's, it's about so, going down there and beating those guys yeah. who don't deserve it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's six of those guys. Uh, so you're an officer of the uh, law. law. <laughs> if you can't right. do it now, then can you do it? Yeah, fine, yeah. fine. I'm going to be average. average. Hey, hey, if I'm over there, please help me, help me. I need mean, help, I need backup. As a police officer, I can beat the shit out of people and have no consequences. <laughs> <laughs> Great. 
It's up to you. We may drop it. Okay, cool, great. Somebody's got lots of cell phones. Great, awesome. You guys go have a seat, please. Thank you. Secret message. I don't know what the name of this game is. Yeah. Anyways, uh, we're Chad, Daisy, and I are going to perform a scene for you. And uh, Daisy and Chad's only lines of dialogue have to come from the message chain on this phone. <laughs> and then I have to justify it. Um, so let's get uh, an event uh, that somebody would celebrate. Just shout it out. A wedding. I heard a wedding. Great. Uh, this is Cell Phone uh, Nightmare. I don't know what it's called. Great. Uh, round of applause. Good afternoon, ma'am. Sorry for the delay in response. I have had to work since the day we met. I should be able to ask you a question. Well, uh, that's a strange first bow, but uh, it's not the strangest I've ever had. Uh, did you write your vows as well, Monica? If you want to pick them up at 4.30 or 5, you should be home by 6, but only if this isn't going to inconvenience you. <laughs> Totally not a dark ritual. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, just know that matrimony is holy, and oftentimes when we make a commitment to the other, we sacrifice quite a lot. Well, I can either order, order y'all pizza for dinner, or you can pick up McDonald's, and Corey has cash for you. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 can I have not. I don't have HBO right now. <laughs> For you too, okay? Pizza is great. <laughs> <laughs> and just so you know, we, we have provided pizza and McDonald's for all of you. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Yeah, uh, I played a little the other night and it was fine. How often do you play multiplayer? Wait, hold on, quick question. <laughs> Where's the key pop? <laughs> Where is the key? Pop? No, no clue. Well, Jesus is the key to. <laughs> First Methodist Church, where we are exchanging vows, you you are given a lifetime of bliss in the eyes of the Holy Father. Martial law, baby, that guy is a badass. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. Um, uh, do we have the rings? Oh, and you know what? Probably on the counter where the plants are, <laughs> or the bell cabinet underneath that counter. Oh, my dear boy. <laughs> We're almost in the part where we say I do. You are in it. Oh, oh I started it last night, just me and Kiru's girlfriend.